Um, hello everyone, welcome to the Reconnect podcast and TV show. I'm your host Tapelo Paladi and today we embark on a fascinating exploration into the intrinsic web of economics, youth and economic power in the heart of Africa, especially focusing on Lesotho as we unravel this complex threat. We'll gain insight into the challenges and opportunities faced by the vibrant youth population and the broader economic dynamics shaping the region. So uh, understanding the economic power is not just uh, an academic exercise, but it is a uh, okay. It is crucial for shaping uh, the future, particularly for the youth. Uh, because the the future of the the country or the nation depends on the youth so economic power holds the key to unlocking opportunities driving innovation and fostering sustainable development so in this episode we'll delve into how economic power influences the lives of the youth in Lesotho and by extension the African continent so let's delve in so usually um, you know here on Reconnect podcast and TV show we always invite insightful uh, a guest to to have these kinds of conversation but uh, this month uh, I faced uh, challenges uh, when it comes to finances um, arranging transport and covering all the expenses and also the times and the academics again so um, then I was like uh, oh I could just just for this month let me do this conversation alone um, so um, we we will start first by the the importance of the economic power um, um, so it's not merely about the accumulation of wealth so usually uh, people when we say economic power first thing that can come to mind is maybe the accumulation of wealth but it's not just about the accumulation of wealth but it's about the ability to influence shape and navigate the economic landscape so in the context of Lesotho and Africa at large economic power plays a pivotal role in determining the trajectory of development social progress and uh, crucially the opportunities available to the youth so why is this understanding so vital so not like this understanding whereby how we can just um, the accumulation of wealth but we talk about the ability to influence so why is uh, this understanding so vital so because um, the youth uh, represents the future they are the architects of change innovation and progress so their economic well-being and empowerment are not just uh, matters of social justice but are directly linked to the overall prosperity and stability of the region so in Lesotho where significant portion of the population is comprised of young people the economic prospects are in uh, are intimately tied to the nation's economic uh, standing so um, youth empowerment also has to go with um, economy and yeah so as we explore this intersection we'll uncover how the economic power or the lack thereof can shape the educational opportunities employment prospects and overall quality of life for the youth in Lesotho and by extension the African continent so we are not just going to talk about for Lesotho um, uh, but we want to focus at Africa at large because Lesotho is in the African continent and we also have things like geopolitics but that's the subject for another day so uh, buckle up for the journey through the economic landscape of Lesotho and Africa as we examine the crucial interplay between 
economics youth and economic power so that was just the introduction i also get much into um <laughs> the subject of today but giving you um the introduction as we progress through this conversation. Um, why am I interested in economics and uh, economic uh, youth and all this? Uh, well, I, I did um, principles of microeconomics while I was doing my first year. Um, from there, I started reading books, researching, and yeah, so. Mm, so, yeah. Anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, the youth demographic uh, in Lesotho, so we, we can start with that. Um, uh, so, can you say a few notes or anything refer to like the key points? So, uh, the youth demographic in Lesotho. So since uh, we have just uh, set the stage, we can turn our focus to the vibrant demographic uh, landscape of Lesotho, particularly its youth population, like Lenme uh, Mocha and youth. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm interested in youth. Um, yeah, um, like you can uh, these uh, successful people they will always say invest in young people and all like yeah <laughs> so Lesotho we all know that Lesotho is a small length locked country nestled within South Africa uh, it boasts a population where you form a significant percentage uh, the demographic uh, pyramid here is characterized by a uh, youth population uh, presenting both unique challenges and incredible opportunities um, so as of latest data um, or data uh, the, major the majority of youth Lesotho's population uh, youth which makes it a youthful nation in every sense so um, so when we hear things like uh, youth unemployment, uh, the stats are high, so it gives you a worry whereby the country, uh, the significant like population at large, can give. So, um, so this demographic structure not only defines the social fabric but also has profound uh, implications for economic development so understanding this youth bulge is essential for grasping the dynamics of employment education and uh, societal progress um, so now we can um, another point Nike Nahanore it will after talking about that key challenges and opportunities for youth employment. Um so um key can cafe tell to that point um so with a substantial youth population comes the inevitable challenge of providing meaningful employment opportunities so Lesotho like many other African nations faces the task of harnessing the potential of its youth uh, dividend so the challenges uh, okay we can say the challenge the challenges so the challenge lies uh, in not only creating jobs but also ensuring that these jobs align align with the skills and aspirations of the youth so one of the significant hurdles is the mismatch between the skills acquired through education and the demands of the job market so as industries evolve and technology advances ensuring that the youth are equipped with relevant skills become paramount so lack of 
employment opportunities can lead to frustrations and social unrest, underscoring the agency of addressing the issue. Yeah, so when we talk about technology, well, I, I'm doing my final year of BSc Physics and Computer Science. Um, <laughs> so, uh, okay, uh, how does that So, however, uh, within these challenges uh, lie immense opportunities. So, the youth, often known for their innovation and adaptability, can be a driving force for economic growth. Entrepreneurship, particularly in sectors like technology and agriculture, holds the potential to not only create jobs but also transform the economic landscape. So initiatives that foster entrepreneurship and skills development can be key to unlocking this potential. So um, I'm gonna take a, a, a post in an affair uh, before Jinga uh, so that I can continue to uh, unpack uh, uh, this conversation we're having today. Um, so, how about that? Pele, Kikibuileka, Hore, there's this challenge here, yeah, uh, mismatch between. Education, the disability, the military, the workforce, for any workforce. Uh, but if those things can be aligned together, like uh, we can progress as a nation or even a continent or the whole world. So now, the role of education and skills development. So Education is the cornerstone of preparing the youth for the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. So the quality of education and its uh, alignment with the needs of the job market are critical factors. So in Lesotho, as in many African countries, there is a growing recognition of the importance of vocational training and practical skills development. So, uh, while doing my research, so, uh, yeah, even uh, National Manpower Development Secretariat uh, is a honor sponsor of the students that are with the studies uh, uh, at these vocational schools. Uh, because there is a growing recognition of the importance of uh, vocational training and practical skills development. So investing in education, uh, yes, it goes beyond academic knowledge. It involves equipping the youth with the tools and skills required for the contemporary job market. So initiatives that bridge the gap between uh, academia and industry, such as internships and uh, I know what's this word? What's this word? Uh, appre, apprent, yeah, yeah, a little bit. Like yeah, so we can just talk about entrepreneurship. Yeah, yeah. So uh, those things like internships, the honor who bridge that gap between academia and industry. The uh, whole of a pivotal role. Well, well, is <laughs> is unfortunately, um, we don't have internship, but some courses, yeah, they are internships. But for us, uh, it creates a project, so, yeah. So moreover, embracing uh, technological advancements and incorporating them into educational curriculum is essential to prepare the youth for a rapidly evolving global economy. Um, so our economy and uh, our world today, uh, we have things like fourth industrial revolution and if our educational curriculum is in uh, uh, that 
technological advancements then mm. uh, um, so I'm gonna take another uh, a short break um, okay. so um, I have a dollar for we can talk about the economic power dynamics in Africa so as we broaden our lens to encompass yeah, the entire African continent, like this girl, we are just listened. So it's crucial to recognize the diversity that defines its economic landscape. So Africa often portrayed as a monolithic um, entity uh, is a mosaic um, of nations. I think finally about is it 54 countries? Yeah. Um, so each to, of like each of that those countries or nations, each with its unique history, culture, and economic structure. To understand the dynamics of uh, economic power, we must appreciate the complexities that arise from this diversity. Even though sometimes we want diversity, but um, it comes, we have to appreciate the complexities that arise from that diversity. So, African economics range from resource rich nations with uh, booming extractive industries to those driven by agriculture, services, and technologies. Uh, we can just say technologies, technologies, but yeah. So the economic uh, tapestry of the continent is as varied as its geography, presenting a rich tapestry of challenges and opportunities. So recognizing this diversity is the first step in unraveling, unraveling um, the interplay of economic power across the African continent. So we have started to focus on economic power of uh, economic economic power dynamics in Africa. Um, diversity and so we have to embrace that, that complexity that arises with that diversity. Also, um, we have agriculture, services, and technology. What's this mean? Okay, apologies. Uh, we 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 get another short break so that the concept of economic power in Africa, or we can just So, speaking about the concept of economic power in Africa. Uh, we, we we are delving into the concept of economic power and how it manifests in different African uh, country, countries. So economic power. Uh, so now gonna reflect on economic power. That um, it's not just about the accumulation of wealth, but it's more. <laughs> so economic power is not. Uh, only measured by GDP figures. It encompasses a nation's ability to influence global trade, attract foreign investment, and chart its own development course. So in Africa, economic power often manifests in different forms. Some countries world influence through their net natural resources like oil, minerals or agricultural products others leverage or others leverage their strategic uh, geographical location for trade and transit additionally economic power is closely tied to a nation's political stability infrastructure development and the inclusive inclusivity of its economic uh, Policies. So, however, for political instability, it will affect the 
geopolitics, like political instability can only affect the affecta, uh, economy and uh, so if na uh, ha political instability um don then the foreign investment they can have uh, for Tata and so yeah so understanding these uh, dynamics um uh, is crucial for appreciating how African nations position themselves in the global economic order. So the rise of uh, regional economic uh, blocks such as the African Union and the East African Community further adds a layer of complexity as countries collaborate to enhance their collective economic power on the global stage. So, I'm not sure if I should take a, another break, but I should move on to the next point. Uh, navigating global economic challenges. Um, Oh, we can just delve into it. So, navigating global economic challenges in the pandemic in a global chaos, we can just talk about it. Um, so, navigating the global economic challenges um, requires an understanding of how African nations, both individually and collectively, engage with the broader international community from trade agreements to investment partnerships african countries are active partnerships in shaping the global economic narrative uh, 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 so uh, some people believe without africa uh, like Maybe civilization wouldn't be where it is today. Like we have resources, we have um like it doesn't have <laughs> um so Africa provided civilization to the world. So um uh I don't know what's the the next point. The strategies for empowering youth in Lesotho uh, economically. Um, okay. Uh, so, what are the strategies for empowering youth in Lesotho economically? Um, because for education, yeah, I think the solution is there. So one promising strategy is the promotion for inter of entrepreneurship. So if um, uh, Lesotho and like uh, the stakeholders, um, so we say, um, I hear it, we say uh, in like uh, sectioning in a strategies for empowering youth in Lesotho economically um, so maybe one promising strategy is a promotion of entrepreneurship so creating an environment because the environment uh, it's an easy support uh, young entrepreneurs uh, so creating an entrepreneurship that supports young entrepreneurs um, is key for unlocking innovation and job creation. Uh, so this can involve providing access to funding, mentorship programs, and creating a regulatory environment that encourages startups to flourish. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the environment uh, on, 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 on episode 2 uh, the guest in the now Nansari, the environment in the Soto is not conducive enough um, like so yeah that's true um, 
because I did also face lots of challenges after incorporating a company. Uh, then later the license and totally other kind of from there. Um, access to funding as so good as uh, even today. Hello, sorry, can lady make for our podcast. Uh, the equipment I handle for for our YouTube channel, like for this platform, the Reconnect. Um, uh, uh, we we also tried uh, uh, writing low consult a low. We are all modern. 20 businesses and companies in the sort of like a whole copper funding for uh, the microphone, um, no like a, um, recording equipment, no like a tone so that Teresa the detour, the one now with a view the hand. But the Baba Havaka reply, I will never have a little who is a Yeah, we do face lots of challenges related to entrepreneur in, in Africa. Well, I believe in Africa as a whole, but surely as time goes on, like environment, it will be hunting and because uh, if we want to empower you economically um, we can't say we can promote entrepreneurship for the environment in support the young entrepreneurs um, so if we send access to funding um, I remember after incorporating a company, but like the requirements is a, 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 a loan, a business loan, and um, it was kind of a challenge. Like, but yeah, so environment it has to encourage startups to to flourish. So. Um now that is a Rabila look at that. Uh I think next part could work uh importance of entrepreneurship and innovation. So uh work entrepreneurship so the importance of entrepreneurship and innovation. So entrepreneurship uh, and innovation are not just buzzwords. <laughs> They are powerful engines for economic growth. So in Lesotho, as in uh, many parts of the world, encouraging a culture of entrepreneurship can be a game changer. So this involves breaking down barriers to entry, celebrating risk taking and providing necessary support infrastructure. So the one uh, instead of uh, <laughs> celebrating risk taking, the <laughs> one uh, uh, about uh, like early the other way around. So yeah. <laughs> so entrepreneurship uh, fueled by a dynamic entrepreneurial spirit can lead to creation of new industries, job opportunities, and a more resilient economy. So the youth with their fresh perspectives and technological, um, how was the world, is it? Southiness, yeah, are practically, you no, know, are particularly, um, well positioned to drive this change invest in young people so initiatives that encourage innovation such as incubators um, startup competitions 
and networking events can be instrumental in nurturing um, the next generation of business leaders so I think um, so we um, like a vocational training so what's the role of vocational training also the role of education um, so education is the the cornerstone of empowerment and in the context of Lesotho aligning education with the needs of job market is crucial so vocational training programs that equip the youth with practical skills and mesh industry demands can significantly enhance employability so now a days wanna almost uh, positioning only um, who learns to experience 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 so yeah <laughs> but I believe if uh, education can be aligned uh, with the needs of job market um, to the point whereby he Laws such a good experience, like uh, so. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, okay, I think, yeah, this one is best. Um, so, um, yeah, so if education, because but so one of our experience, so whenever banana or maybe education I wanna probably higher line with um, the needs of the job market so but maybe if uh, education I wanna okay so, uh, the upgrade yeah, like the infrastructure the the uh, varsities uh, yeah so investing yeah in education infrastructure, particularly in areas of science, uh, technology, engineering, and mathematics, which is STEAM, is it STEM capacity? <laughs> yeah, um, ensures that the youth are prepared for the jobs of the future. So, additionally, vocational training in traditional skills coupled with modern techniques can empower young people to contribute meaningfully to sectors such as agriculture and craftsmanship. So, um, so as we wrap up this exploration into the economic dynamics of Lesotho, it's evident that empowering the youth is not just a goal, it's a necessity for sustained economic growth uh, through entrepreneurship, innovation and education. Lesotho can harness the potential of its youthful population creating a brighter future for all. Uh, so thank you for joining me on this journey. And if you have any thoughts, questions, or suggestions for future topics, feel free to reach out. Um, uh, so until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the world of possibilities. Um, so I'm not sure if it's a conclusion, but um, I should just end here. Um, so until next time, this is Tabelo Paladi signing off. Stay informed, stay inspired, and keep making a difference in the world.
Yeah, with the little you have, you can start something. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, so, bye. Mm.